Today, we will talk about the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, GATT. The General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, signed in 1947 by 23 countries, is a treaty minimizing barriers to international trade by eliminating or reducing quotas, tariffs, and subsidies. The GATT was created to form rules to end or restrict the most costly and undesirable features of the pre-war protectionist period, such as trade controls and quotas. One of the key achievements of the GATT was that of trade without discrimination, known as the most favored nation principle. The GATT held eight rounds of meetings from 1947 to 1993, each with significant achievements and outcomes. It also worked to address issues beyond tariff reduction, such as dumping and trade in textiles, and led to the creation of the World Trade Organization in 1995. The purpose of the GATT was to eliminate protectionism, encourage free trade among countries, and help restore economic prosperity following World War II. Essentially, the GATT aimed to push the world toward a reality where goods and services are exchanged among countries without tariffs, quotas, and without favoritism and discrimination. The GATT was replaced by the WTO because it was said to lack a coherent institutional structure, and the WTO is better positioned to carry out its principles and address new issues that arise in international trade. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, GATT, was signed by 23 countries in October 1947, after World War II, and became law on January 1, 1948. 2. The purpose of the GATT was to make international trade easier. 3. The GATT held eight rounds in total, from April 1947 to December 1993, each with significant achievements and outcomes. 4. In 1995, the GATT was absorbed into the World Trade Organization, WTO, which extended it. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.